It's been an, yeah, a big day down in Choo Choo Town with both the Alcoa Tornadoes and West Rebels looking to repeat as state champions. We begin with the Class 3A game and for the third straight year featuring Mighty Alcoa and East Nashville. Brian Nix and the Tornadoes are back in the title game for the 11th straight time, going for a ninth straight gold ball. Alcoa's defense steps up massively to start the game. East Nashville's quarterback scrambling. Martez Lamb shouldn't do it, throws it away, but freshman Micah Jones is there for the interception and he takes it all the way back to the house. The pick six gives Alcoa a 7-0 lead. After another interception, Eli Graff throws it to the back of the end zone. Mr. Football finalist Brandon Witten there. He catches it before it's punched out. That makes it 14-0 Tornadoes. Second quarter action, Graff drops back, tosses to Elijah Cannon, shakes off a tackle, weaving through traffic, and takes the open lane, if you will, all the way for the touchdown. 21-7 after the 50 yard score. The Tornadoes were far from finished. It's Graf rolling right, throws it to Brody Blankenship. Incredible one handed grab for the score. Tornadoes go into the half 35 7. They tack on one more score to win 42 20. The program's incredible 20 second championship. Our Paige Dower was at the game and has reaction from the winning team. It was amazing, one of the best feelings. It gets better every year that we do it, so it's just one of the best feelings in the world. It means a lot, but it, it means a lot more than just me. As a coach, all our coaches, all our players, all our community, and uh, I think you can't underscore how you can't win like this without a community like ours. The Alcoa Tornadoes broke their own state record for most consecutive state championships one year after setting it by winning number nine today. Junior quarterback Eli Graff and the game's MVP helped lead the Tornadoes to a 42 to 20 victory over East Nashville. He does whatever you ask him to do. He does it at a high level. He's got to be uh, one of the top talents in the state. He's a great teammate. It couldn't happen to a better kid. You know, Eli went through a lot this year with different uh, positions and stuff, and to be able to end the season playing quarterback for your for your team and win a state championship, and as you said, be able to be recognized as an MVP is I, I can't imagine a better a better situation. Alcoa's defense set the tone early in offense, nagging a pair of interceptions and held the Eagles to just 16 passing yards. Alcoa is based on their defense. We're always going to have a good defense, and I think that's just a testament to Coach Six and our staff, the way they're able to push us week in and week out at practice, even in the spring. You know, we're treating every day like it's a state championship, not just the week of the state championship. After the game, Eli Graff's dad told me he couldn't be more proud of his son. Just, just how proud I am and how much I love him. It means the world to me to have my family, they're the closest people to me, and they uh, always put me in situations to succeed, and I thank them for that. All the tornadoes say it's time to celebrate, but just until the new year. Once January 1st hits, all I'm worried about is winning state next year. You know, all I'm worried about is making sure we're back here in December of next year. From Finley Stadium, Paige Dower, WVLT Sports. Congratulations.